backpack I got. This is my Nimbus Trace that I got from Granite Gear. I got it just about eight months ago. I bought it in the fall. Did some hiking all through the winter time. And I'm getting ready to do this review so you guys can see whether it's something you'd want to purchase or skip over. I'm going to start at the top. It's got a great access panel for food. I like to stick my hats in it. Things that I need to get to really quickly so if I'm hiking, I can have a hiking buddy behind me, grab it. I can get a snack, I can get my gloves, then we can keep going without wasting too much time. It also has this quick little snaps that I can stick my jackets on, things like that if I'm getting hot, stuff them in, strap it down, keep going. This top pouch here can be taken off and used as a fanny pack for quick day hikes. Um, once you're at your campsite and you want to go get water or just kind of scout around, you can take some necessities with you and then you don't have to take this whole bag and stay at camp. All right, so opening up the top here. It's got a hydration compartment. So the hydration tube just comes right through here. You can pick either side right or left and it just comes out through there. This here is your access pouch. You can bring food, snacks, hats, gloves, things that you need to get to quickly. It's pretty stretchy so you can really stuff a lot of stuff in there. Strap things down. I use these straps a lot when we got uh, snowshoes hiking in the winter time and works pretty well. So this access panel, aside from stuffing food in, then you need to get to something in the middle, but you don't want to get all the way from the top down. You have these straps for extra compression. But you can also just get to stuff real easily. Med kits, things like that if you're just having to stop on the trail. Pretty handy. We have these loops down here. They're for trekking poles. They're for ice axes. But I personally like to keep my trekking poles on the side, strapped down. It's just how I like to roll. Speaking of the side, we've got these pouches here. It's the same material as this access pouch. It's pretty stretchy. It's mesh. Um, so things can breathe in, breathe really easily in it. Uh, over on this side, you can see how much give it has. I like this because it actually does compress down and hold these water bottles in. And uh, my other backpack, they would just fall out all the time. So this is really impressive to me that it really just stays in there. Up here, it's got these side pockets, one on each side. Material is a little bit thicker, but it's really stretchy. So you can stuff light um, lights in there, batteries, uh, things that you just need to get to quickly. So these straps here, you've got adjustable heights that you can put this at, chest strap. Um, mine's at the very highest it can go. You've got the load lifters right here. This webbing here is for additional pockets. I don't have one on now, but oftentimes I've got one and I'll stick my sunglasses in it, things I need to get to pretty quickly, my cell phone, and it's just right there, easy to get to. So depending on your height, it's got this really easy adjustment section. It's got multiple holes and um, you can go a little bit wider if you need to, higher, lower really really stable and uh, fairly easy to adjust. So this Nimbus Trace backpack overall has been really good. Um, everything has been pretty easy to get to. I can load it with a ton of stuff and uh, the held up pretty well in the weather.
a few of the things that are not my favorite um, are, for one, the size of the clips are a little bit small. I would like them to be a little bit uh, bigger and just, to me, tougher. Um, in Southeast Alaska, you just got branches grabbing at you, pulling at you, and these to me don't seem as durable as I'd like. Um, aside from that, there's a lot of straps, and at times you can kind of get confused what's going to be clipped to what. And um, the only other thing that isn't my favorite is I got a size medium, which I probably should go a little bit smaller, and then the belt that came with it is a large. So I can't get it cinched as tight as I need to when we're hiking and I have a bigger load. Um, and I've got a lot of layers on. It works pretty well. But I would definitely want a size medium, maybe even a small. So those are the only things that I have to say. Other than that, it's an amazing pack and gets me where I need to go, which is hiking on mountains. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and stay tuned for our next adventure. Thank you.